So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we're going to discuss in today's video. Today we're going to discuss about the differences between IITs and NITs. What are the major differences between Indian Institute of Technology and National Institute of Technology on these parameters which I'll list down. And we'll also decide that which is better. Of course, both are the best institutes in the country. But on these parameters, we'll take a final call. Let's start. So these are the list of seven parameters on which we'll be discussing about the differences between IITs and NITs. The first one, NRI quota. Is there any NRI quota in the IITs or is there any NRI quota in the NITs? We are going to discuss first. Then we'll move on and discuss about the total number of seats. The total number of seats offered by IITs and the total number of seats offered by NITs. We're going to discuss. The third key aspect here is admission criteria and required entrance exam. That what are the major entrance exam that you need to clear to get into these top institutes. Then we'll discuss about the courses, the major courses offered by IITs and NITs. Then we'll discuss about the two more aspects here, which is infrastructure and facilities and extracurricular activities. These are club form. And at the last, which is placements. So what is the placement scenario in IIT and what is the placement scenario in NITs that we are going to discuss. And again, after this point of time, you still have any doubts, any questions, any queries, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Let's start. So now NRI quota, let's start with discussing about the NRI quota. So as per the latest guidelines of DESA and CIWG, it says that there is no NRI quota in the IITs which does not mean that you cannot take admission. NRIs can take admission in the IITs, but they have to clear advance, J advance, with the required cutoff like the general students do, then they will get a call from the IITs. And good news is that there is, yes, quota in the NITs. You can see the list of NITs right here, which is NITA, MNNIT, NITAP, MANIT, NITC. There are many more NITs right here. You can see there's a total of six times four, which is 24, plus four, which is 29. So there are a total of 29 NITs in which there is a reservation, there is quota for the NRIs and the DESA and CIWG. You visit the site which is www.testprepcart.com slash jblog single php id 1162 NRI quota in IITs. And even in NITs, you will have entire information about this part. But as of now, you know that yes, there are reservation in the NITs, but there is no reservation as such in the IITs. All right. Now let's move on and discuss about the total number of seats. So let's start with discussing about the IITs. So in the IIT, as you can see, these are the list of IITs. In the IIT Madras, this is 5 of 5. We are just talking about the BTEC right here after class 12th. Then in IIT Delhi, this is 799. In IIT Bombay, this is 778. In IIT Kalakpur, this is 690. You can see the numbers here. Let's take two more. In IIT Goa, which is a you know, IIT Goa, 97 total number of seats and IIT Jammu, this is 154. So you can see this thing that there are total number of seats, but in here there is no reservation as such, right? If you are NRI and if you are thinking to take admission in the Indian Institute of Technology, then you have to follow the process like the general Indian student do, right? You will be treated as an Indian student, all right? Now, not discussing much about this part, but let's move on and discuss about the NITs because in NITs, you guys have the reservation. So NRI quota is available in NITs and CFTIs in the form of DESA and CIWG. And yes, it says that there are a total of 3,000 3, seats. 3,000 seats that are available for the NRIs under which 1,000 are reserved for CIWG. So this is under CIWG quota and 2,000 are under DESA quota. So this is about the total number of seats and it's mapping 3,000 seats reserved in the NITs out of which 1,000 for the CIWG and 2000 for the NRIs and the DESA and CIWG quota. All right. Now let's discuss about the other aspect that what is admission criteria and required entrance exam that you need to clear to get into this top institutes. So here I'm just discussing about the first one as this is clearly stated that in the NIT it says that you need to clear J means. J means if you clear that exam J means there are fair chances that you will get a call from NITs but yes you have to clear the cutoffs too. And in the IITs, which is the second phase, just after J means, that's called J advance. So you have to clear J advance, then you will get a call from IIT. Okay, of course, you have to clear the cutoff. And the basic eligibility criteria is that says that you need to score 75% in a class 12th and 65% for the reserved category students as per the latest guideline. So that is not a big deal. Class 12th, science stream, that is physics, chemistry, mathematics, and like some optional papers if you have, but the mapping of the entire aggregate of your class 12 should be 75%, all right? And 75 or 75% plus, let's take it up, round off here. 
and you have to clear this two major entrance exam. If you are targeting NIT, then this is J mains. If you are targeting IIT, then this is J advanced. All right, now let's discuss about the courses which is offered by IIT. So here I'm discussing about the three major courses which IIT offer. This is UG, PG and doctoral program. So let's start with discussing about the UG first. So in the UG, the programs are offered in the form of BTEC, BS, dual degree, dual degree in BS and MS. Now that was dual degree in the case of BTEC plus MTEC. Then Bachelor of Architecture and Bachelor of Design. So BR and BTS. So these are the list of UG courses. If I discuss about the PG courses, then this is MSc, MSc PhD, which is dual degree. Then MTech, then MDES, MBA, MPhil, and joint MSc PhD. So this is about the PG courses. And if I talk about the doctoral program, then this is PhD, of course, that is Doctor in Philosophy, Doctor of Philosophy, and Integrated PhD. So these are the courses which this IIT offer. Almost similar like the normal college do, right? Now let's discuss about the other aspects. But before I discuss about the other aspect, let me announce a very important part here. This is for the NRIs. So for the NRI student, we have prepared an NRI ebook that is related to DASA and CIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. So we have a compiled set of NRI book. Okay, that will really help in your preparation. Now let's discuss about the other aspects. So this is the courses offered by NITs. So in the UG, it offers BTEC, BS, dual degree, that is BTEC plus AMTEC, dual degree, which is BS plus MS, and Bachelor of Architecture. So this is about the NITs. And if I talk about in the form like PG, this is MSc, MTEC, and MBA. Again, there are a few more, there are addition, subtraction. So visit the site of each NIT because there are a total of seven, 27 NITs which is taking part as per the NRIs are concerned. But again, there are more NITs as such. So you just visit the site, you'll have more information like which course and what is the eligibility criteria, like what is the course demand and etc. Okay. Now let's discuss about the other aspect, which is infrastructure and facilities. So in here, this is subjective, right? That this depends from student to student. Like for you, this may be different. For your friend, this may be different. So in here, what I'll suggest, have a virtual campus tour, right? NIT Tirchi, I targeted NIT Tirchi. So you visit the site, which is www.nitt.edu slash home slash students slash events slash VR 360. So you'll have a 360 view, right? So that will give you an entire view about the campus, how the how big the campus is, right? The infrastructure. And you visit the site at the same time, you'll have all the information about the facilities and similar with the IIT, right? In here, this you just need to visit www.youtube.com, watch question mark v and that is equals to this code right here I right? don't just search in the YouTube that just want to visit or just have a virtual tour of IIT Delhi IIT Kharagpur IIT Mumbai or anything right because that is subjective because for many students this size matters campus size matters they want to study in a very big campus so they want to study in a very small campus but these are the national institutes this represents the country Indian institutes as the name suggests national institutes as the name suggests so all the campuses are of course lavish big so you don't need to bother about that part right of course a lavish campus and much much almost all the facilities that you'll have okay you just name it and you get it now let's discuss about the extracurricular activities so extracurricular activities of these institutes are awesome right there will be like Society of Mechanical Engineers, that's called Mechanchi Society, right? Then there are educationalist visit, design competitions, boot camps, tours, amazing life, and much more. And then Spike Mechai. There are much things, right? The first of normal NIT or IIT is a high budget at first, first, right? They call many celebrities. There are many learning opportunities. There are much thing. The life after this institutes is immense, is awesome. And the life when you just spend your, of course, your four years or your two years, any year, if you're targeting BTEC, then of course you're going to invest four years. If you're targeting masters, then you're going to invest two years or PhD or anything. You will enjoy the campus. The extracurricular activities or life in these institutes are in short awesome. All right, now let's discuss about the last part, which is the placement part. So here I'm just discussing about almost all the NITs and IITs. So if I just discuss about the NIT first, let's start with discussing about the NIT Jalandhar. So the average pay package is 7.53 and the highest is 31.12. This is up the last year data, okay? 
For the MNIT Jaipur, this is 7.5 the average, 37 the highest and like Motilal Nehru Institute of Technology, this is 7.82 the average and then 36 the highest. Let's take few more like NIT Raipur, 7 was the average and 38 was the highest, right? So in this particular page, if I talk about the maximum average, this is 13.3, right? Which is NIT Warangal. So that is subjective. You have to visit the sites. But again, as per the placements are concerned, I always suggest you guys that please have information in the median pay package form because that will give you the exact picture. See the differences. This is average and then just next, this is highest. You have to decide on where you are falling, right? There are few NITs. There are few more like NIT Raurkwila, NIT Pondicherry, which is 5.6 average, 4.9 average. So I'll just make this thing very shorter right here that if you're targeting NIT, so for the NIT, the average pay package is somewhere around 5 to 7 lakhs. To be frank, guys, 5 to 7 lakhs rupees is the average pay package. They will show you some flowery things like 1 crore or anything, but that is highest. So don't get befooled after that, right? If I talk about for the median pay package, this is more than a 4, 6 lakhs. And the, more, the most important part right here is that this is not about the just placement that you just the package that you will get after this college. The option, the career opportunity is, you know, like an exponential graph that will be like you're just going ahead only. That got that just like a top only, right? If this is 5 lakhs in the next year, this will be going to be 6.5 or 7. That depends upon how you switch with the companies. So not a big deal. Again, these institutes are the top institutes. So placements is not a big deal for these institutes, right? And for you guys also, you will obviously get placed. The main concern here is your studies. You have to put everything in here your blood your energy right your time then only obviously the returns on that part will be really high if i talk about the placements in the iits this is just like more than 20 30 percent or even like 100 percent extra like if i talk about with the iit madras the average pay package somewhere between 10 to 20 lakhs this is the figure that they have represented in the kharagpur this is 15 lakhs for the iit delhi let me just show iit delhi this is 20 to 25 lakhs and the highest was 40 to 60 lakhs this is not the highest the highest is even crores right 1.1 1.5 1.7 so again iit is or in the institute of technology this is the top institute in the country right so the placements is not the concern right here Obviously, the return on investment, like your fees is whatever, but on the return on the investment is really high. So that is not the bothering part here. And above all, you have a scholarship option. Even you can reimburse your entire fees, entire fees, whatever this is, 4 lakh, 5 lakh, 7 lakh, 10 lakh, 15 lakhs, you are going to just reimburse those entire amount if you study well in this institute. You have enough, enough opportunities after this institute when you pass through these institutes. All right, so this is all about the information, the differences about NITs and IITs. I hope you enjoyed NIT and IIT, right? And again, what do you feel that which is better? Is it NIT or is it IIT? Of course, both are the top institutes. If I were given any opportunities in NIT or IIT, I could have chosen any of it, right? Because all these institutes represent the nation only, all right? So this is all about this video. I see you in the coming videos. Till then, keep practicing, stay motivated. Thank you.